We woke up this morning to the news that a $1 trillion bailout package had been approved by the European Union, and it sent stocks soaring all around the world. Not only did the EU and IMF agree to open up its coffers, but even the U.S. Federal Reserve agreed to extend a line of credit to Europe overnight. A deadly riot breaking out in Greece over the government's plan to avoid defaulting on its loans. And just last night, the Fed made a particularly important bailout decision. It will start sending U.S. dollars to central banks in Europe in an attempt to keep the economic chaos in Greece from spreading to the rest of that continent. This comes on top of a pledge of nearly a trillion dollars. Could, could this kind of thing happen here? Could what we're seeing in Greece and California happen on a nationwide Absolutely. basis here? Absolutely. There's going to be anger and there's going to be riots in the streets as well. But this is all a consequence of the fact that why and how do governments spend like this? It's because they don't have sound money. When we run up deficits, we tax, but never enough. We can't tax. It would ruin the economy. Then we borrow and we get away with that for a long time. But we rely on the printing presses from the Federal Reserve to create the money. And that's where the problem is. This is why we have to look at the Federal Reserve. We have to get an, a, uh, an audit of the Federal Reserve. We have to look at the monetary system and the dollar system because you can't have fake money. This is counterfeit. Quigley reveals that these men aim to create a world system of financial control in private hands, able to dominate the political system of each country and the economy of the world as a whole. It may resolve itself in some type of a, of a global currency crisis. And then if the global currency crisis unfolds, then inevitably you get, uh, I guess, an alignment under a, a global world government, uh, a new global currency, um, and a new world order. Uh, so we may be moving towards that. I think that a kind of orderly uh, progression towards using other reserve currencies, maybe the creation of one by the IMF, is something that whether the U.S. likes it or not, I believe is likely to happen. Now the U.N is backing a plan to change all of that and create a new global currency. We're actually quite open to that suggestion, uh, but you should think of it as rather evolutionary building on the current architecture then rather than um, rather than moving us to global monetary union. Good evening, everybody. President Obama and British Prime Minister Gordon today calling for a new world order to tackle our global economic crisis.